Hey guys, I hope that you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome back to the Netherlands. We are the Frisian Netherlands, of course, not the Dutch ones, so don't get it twisted. We just need to get these guys full occupied so we can piece them out. Or not full occupied, but at least occupied a bit. The Enlightenment is here. I don't care. I'll get it when I get it. We got a lot of uh, universities in our homeland where all of our development is, so it should be pretty straightforward. England is here. Here we go. This is going to give us maybe a coalition. Maybe. Do I care? Nope. <laughs> I do not. I don't care. All oh, right. I forgot about this province. So we're overextended. Well, now we get rebels. Feels bad, man. Uh, Hope against tradition and lose corruption. Sounds good. If you're going to lose corruption, might as well debase currency, right? There you go. No corruption. Um... Let's have you guys split over here. You guys suppress rebels. We are going to have rebels, no doubt. Let's actually have you guys come on down here. Have you guys suppress rebels up here that are going to 100% fire and there's nothing I can do about it. Kong separatists, of course. Get them over here. Get you guys over here. We're gonna have a lot of rebels in a lot of areas. These guys are going to be down there in, like, South Africa, aren't they? Oh, so annoying. Hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. All right. Let's get these guys down there, then. Luckily, we have forts down here to protect that. Those guys right there. Looks like they're sorted. Very good. Once we finish this core, uh, we'll be good. As long as we're below 100... That's, that's the main thing. These guys are attacking me. I'm going to get wiped. I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm actually over it. That's crazy. Oh. If you don't click on that, you don't get the make negative effects, so no point in taking it. Let it happen on its own. Those Kong Separatists we're going to handle. There we go. Try minting more coins, more events. Yes, please. Don't you love it when you go overextended by 10% and all of a sudden your entire country just falls apart? Syakian Separatists are over here. That is a 34 stack, chat. Okay. That sounds fun. Orissi Separatists as well. There we go. They should be separate. Get handled. There we go. Cool. Get those guys out of there as well. More rebels in Bengal. Very good. I bet they're too strong. Oh, their army is so strong. I have to avoid them because I'm a coward. Nice. That's it. That's the event we needed. Ha <laughs> ha Integration is indeed a slow process, chat. It is a slow process. We have Dutch Britain. English Columbia. Very good. Decrease the tariffs. We got the admin points to spare, so just decrease tariffs on all these guys. I don't care about the tariffs. I want their force limit. That's the main thing I want from them. Very good. Uh, wow. Okay, so we need to take some time to sort out where all this stuff is. We got our extra merchants. We got three merchants now. Very good. We have English Colombia. So, we get colonized Brazil, which gives us settler chance and some stuff. Very good. Thank you. Well, wow. very important. I think it's actually the time where we need to get rid of these guys and get some new ones. So, let's get rid of these two. It gives you some, it, it, you know, gives you a little bit of money back. Um, let's go with Humanist, because I am sick of Rebels. And then let's go with... Diplomatic. We're ahead on both techs, so who cares? Take the ideas. It got rid of some of our policies, but uh, honestly, all that's going to do is save us mana. Or give us extra mana, so it's fine. Um, yeah, this is fine. 
We have three extra merchants, so let's consider where we want these guys to go. Uh-huh. Let's steer with you. Transfer. Mm-hmm. Already transferring with you. Transferring here. Let's transfer with you. And then transfer with you. And then we also need to come over here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a decent bit of micro we're going to have to do here. We want to state up all this because why not? This is very good land to dev up eventually. So, And it's all free full states because England had it full stated, which is good. Very good. Get you guys built over here. Oh, nice. It's actually giving us the uh, the border down here as well, the wastelands. All right. Uh, as far as forces, we're going to be way... Oh, our force limit jumped up uh, pretty significantly. That's kind of nuts, actually. Get rid of them all. I don't care about these guys. Mostly cannons as well, which is hilarious. Got those guys. All right. Merc stack. <clears throat> you guys there. We've got 61 heavies here. Our uh, North Sea Squadron. So let's take you guys and have you join the trade fleet. Oh, nice. Now let's have you guys protect trade in the channel. Get as many light ships as possible. And let's take a look. We are now at 780, and I think it just hasn't updated yet. Over a thousand. Over a thousand. Well, chat, I think it only means one thing. Might as well do it. We don't have any rebel or any uh, guys we want to integrate, so we might as well do it. Uh, let's get rid of you and get missionary strength, because we're going to need to convert all these provinces over time. Apparently I'm overextended again, because my stuff dropped down a bit, so I'm going to spend some mill mana and harsh treat you. And that should bring it back up. There you go. These guys need to get suppressed. We will not restrict free trade, or I'll just lose a little bit of trade power for a bit. Ooh. Oh, these rebels. These uh, these guys are annoying. I'll just placate him. Pay off his debt. Placate. Keep them all loyal for now. Pay off your debt. See, look at me. I'm a good overlord. Why are you guys being so disloyal? There we go. Not bad. Handle the rebels there. But uh, yeah, we the main thing is is we need to make sure we have uh, these guys improve relations. So let's just do that there. Recall you. Oh my gosh, these events. Why? It's so dumb. Anyways, let's get another guy over here. Our own subjects. Be good. Oh. I guess we go with the statist. He's 59. A 225. At least he's just, right, chat? I'd really rather not. Once we finish these cores, it'll be a lot uh, a lot less likely we'll have unrest. Have these guys grouped up over here. These guys are protect hunting pirates. We don't need to do that. Let's have you guys protect trade in the ch channel. You guys are down here with a British stack of 32 cannons. Very good. Have you guys pr protect trade in the Ivory Coast? And then transports can get sold. Looks like we've got our third fleet down here. Might as well have them protect trade in the Ivory Coast as well. 
And same thing, get rid of the transports. I'll keep these guys here to protect. These guys are gonna have some rebels down there, so let's do that. Lots of navies to be sorted out. Thank you, England, very cool. Tech trade in Malacca. You guys will join these ships over here. And uh, there we go. Not bad. This agenda is going to expire. I don't care. There we go. So, yeah. We are now making big monies. Very good. Love to see it happen. Continue to convert all this stuff over here to the correct Protestant faith. And uh, might as well build all these guys here. I need to get my auto clicker out here. I have one. Just don't have it turned on right now. Because as our income goes up, it's uh, going to be more and more. Definitely want a Royal Mary Prussia. Rebel Uprising for English Separatists, really? What? What the heck? But why? That's fine. I'll just build a... Let's let's build like a... A 30 stack. That's kind of like, this will be our colonial garrison. And since England is a colony of the Dutch... I actually got a lot of comments about that. Kind of made me laugh. Our, our English colony, right? <laughs> Very good. Oh, speaking of, I think it has to do with culture, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to accept these cultures. That's fine. And the national unrest from humanists will be coming in very soon. Yeah, there we go. Now we won't have the rebels. More trade income is good. Trade efficiency is overpowered. So if we can get more, we want to get more. There we go. And uh, as soon as we get this idea, looks like it's very cheap. 338, yeah, that is pretty cheap. Let's, um, let's switch these guys away from morale and go towards um, idea cost. Saves more mana. Mana is a, a currency, just like making money. Regiment costs, very good. Make our armies a little bit cheaper. There we go. Take this, minus two national unrest is very strong. Now we have minus 10 for our national unrest. We have no rebels that will be spawning. Very good. Well, I can, apparently we'll have one in India, but that's fine. I'll take the prestige. And uh, continue to build more production. So the goal of the campaign from this point on is going to be as make as much Trade money as we possibly humanly can. That's that's the goal. How do you guys feel about that? I know that there's a lot of min-maxing I can do. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to min-max. I'm going to have fun. That's my goal. My goal is to enjoy the rest of the campaign and uh, come up with some, get some crazy numbers on the screen. Oh, right. I don't think I did any of these buildings. Right, we can get a lot more money coming out of here if we upgrade these, first off. So let's upgrade all of you. And this one as well. And then upgrade you. Build you as well. So we can get some Diplo relations. Sounds good. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Could inter we can intervene in a big war, apparently. Those guys are so sorted. Very good. Holy crap, we're making good money. Yeah, building these buildings is increasing our trade income significantly. And so, I, I also have had comments about, like, why don't I build specific buildings? You build these two, right here. Local trade power and local production efficiency for the entire area. That's the one you want. And then this one here, the broker's exchange, because it gives production efficiency and goods produced. So that's why you would do those two specifically. Now we're steering 94 out of Caramendel. And we're collecting 873 ducats in the channel. 
Safe to say the channel is the best node in the world, right chat? So another thing I want to do, okay, these guys are all pretty loyal now, which is good. So get some more dev. There we go, it's fine, good for me. We could intervene on Russia's side. So it looks like Russia is just straight up attacking the Ottomans. What are you doing, bro, Russia? Peter, you're malevolent. More likely to use the send warning action. Disclose their attack plans ahead of time. Threaten war more often. Oh, no. That's nutty. He's. I feel like he's going to get clapped, yeah? Oh my gosh, he's big. He's very strong. How's his economy looking? He has no debt. Chat, are we really seeing a giant sardom of Russia with no debt? I'm curious how this is going to go for him. <laughs> Very curious, actually. Let's build a couple of these guys. Specifically on the borders. Like, well, considering the fact that our entire country is just a long border. It's fine. There we go. So what's our mission tree telling us to do? Get more, get more clay over here. I suppose we can. There is no HRE. He's allied to Portugal, actually. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe we attack Portugal. Let's attack Portugal. Um. So let's attack him straight up. France will help him. Hmm. If I attack his guy... France is defender of the faith. Okay, so yeah, we just attack. We attack these guys with a with an imperialism war. That's fine. Uh, get a general over there, and then I will march my guys down here. Eventually, let's make sure all these guys are leveled up. Definitely very important. And uh, we'll get mill access through France eventually. And then I'll just head on down. VJ entered our coalition. Oh no, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Feels bad, man. We attacked him and I didn't even realize it. So let's build one of these guys. Big old stack. And we'll, we just need to take this province here. We'll get ticking war score. Do I have? I don't have mill access yet. I bet he's not going to give it to me either. No. Why won't you give it to Portugal, though? I don't care about the Indians joining my coalition. It doesn't mean anything to me. They're just going to get stomped. Our general is dead, sadly. Which one? Apparently, I'm going to get stack wiped over there. Sounds good. <laughs> These colonial nations aren't messing around. They got some manpower, man. Got some men in the field. So Yukchi is woods, so that's good. These guys are uh, building up my cannons now. Very good. Take a little bit of attrition to assert my dominance. No big deal. So our cannons are still coming in strong. Ooh, uh, I think we need to get over there ASAP. Let's get an Isaac over here. Oh, they suicided. Why would you do that? Okay, this is fine. I still am surprised. There we go. Now we have access. So march directly onto Lisboa and uh, just stomp them. There we go. Should be pretty easy. Let's get all these guys grouped up here, and then we're just going to run around and start stack wiping all of his little armies. Yep, I'm not worried about tech. Good. Let the force march begin. There you go. Yes, there's my little colonial boys. Let's head on over here. Wipe them out. Yo, coots. Really? Where are you guys from? Oh, what? What the world? Oh, okay. That's a 
Portuguese California stack, I was like, wait a minute, why do they have so many men? <laughs> Makes more sense now. Continue to convert the lands over there. It's, uh, since we're at war, we'll add the morale. The morale's nice. This is wood, so I'd rather not fight over here if we can avoid it. The attrition is not a big deal, hardly at all. So if they want to go down into the marsh, that would be... Oh. Hmm. Let's just take them. Let's take them here. We got a full combat with and they don't, so this is actually totally fine. Especially with our better general. Oh my gosh, yeah. Boy. Fine, I say. This is fine. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, okay. This war is a lot more of a pushover than I was expecting it to be. We're gonna siege his capital down. Alright, not bad. Now we gotta head over here, siege down this, and uh, we're gonna be able to have him concede quite a bit. What? Um. Hmm? I don't have the option to have him concede. Colonial nations? Okay. Well, I guess I'll just click through them. This is fine as well. A lot of aggressive expansion. So let's start off by saying, what is the colonial nation here? This is the one that matters the most to me right now. Is North Amer or East Coast or whatever. Colonial North America. What is it called? Colonial Eastern America. That's the one that matters the most to me right now. So we're going to do this. Going to take all of it. A lot of AE. No coalition. Very good. It'll all get split up. Uh, I assume most of it will go to the New Netherlands. The New Netherlands. And then... Um, I don't have a Louisiana nation, so... Let's just go with this for now. Okay. I think that's fair. I think that's a good peace deal. 54 uh, war score. Which... Uh, Realistically, we're going to get mostly just from occupying his capital and taking this guy over here. How is their force limit looking? They still got a lot of men, but uh, I think I can afford to split them off here. Let's barrage these walls here. Once we get him full occupied on the mainland, he'll be much less excited about being in this war, and I think we can speed five it for now. Yeah, English Columbia not doing too good. It's okay. I kind of am alright with it because I want them to take on some debt so I can pay off their debt. <laughs> Make them more loyal. Yeah, this is actually totally fine with me. <laughs> if you guys get full in it, full occupied, just pay off your debt. And you be loyal. Ottoman getting beat up on by Russia. Look at that. Constantinople is occupied by Russia. Well, I'm glad I have him as an ally, apparently. <laughs> Won the Siege of Lisboa. Very good. And let us finish this up. We now have all of the... Uh, just in time. Won the Siege of Yukchi. Very good. And uh, let's head on up here. Catch him. Got some rebels that popped and I don't know where. Just kidding. I do not. Could take that. I think I'll hold off for now. Wait at least until the new year so we can get it cheaper. Sure, man. I don't care. I'll pay off his debts and then he'll be loyal again anyway, so it's not a big deal. Won the Siege of Evora. Doesn't look like he's got any men on the mainland. Oh, just kidding. Holy crap, he does. Ah. This is bad, man. <laughs> Am I going to win this? I did win it. That was really bad. <laughs> All right, 
Let's upgrade my units here. Let them uh, recoup for a few months. The, the maneuver general is going to be helpful. They're on low enthusiasm, which is good. Um, yep, I want all of this. It's 55. Very good. That's that's what I'm going to take in this war. And uh, province over here as well, I think. Dutch Mexico cannot make it a core, apparently. There we go. Something like that. So first off, we're going to have to get hate these guys on low enthusiasm. So let's do it. And the best way to do it is to uh, wipe out his armies. Completely destroy his morale. They have no general down there for some reason. Reckless, man. Reckless. Very reckless. All right, cool. So Portugal just literally lost like 60,000 men right there. guys over here split them up again there we go get these guys full occupied as quickly as possible okay very good and I would like to piece this war out in this episode, if at all possible. Let's see how it goes here. Once we get him full occupied, we'll see how willing he is to let us accept this piece. Looks like it's gonna happen. Cool. So we're gonna need to like re-grab a couple of these provinces because it's Ugh. Yeah. Cause as they're taking it, they're occupying it for themselves and they're not giving it to me. Um, okay. All oh, right. They don't have the, um, whatchamacallit, the stuff that I do, the, um, absolutism. So it costs a little bit extra. So let's switch this over to myself then. Like that'll, that alone will make it cheaper. So like here, 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 here. Uh, nope, I want it to myself right here. Beautiful. And so, I'll give them the entirety of Eastern Colonial America, Colonial Eastern America, yes. And then that will give them the entirety of Colonial, oh, just kidding, it does not. So let's see here. Give this to myself. There we go. And we're having to do a couple of that over here as well by the looks of it. So. Give it to myself, 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 myself. And there we go. Same thing. And then it'll just like give it to my colonies, which is funny because I don't know which colony it'll give it to, but uh, this is fine with me. And a little bit of money to just, you know, insult him as we're on our way out and boom. And then we let a couple of days go by, and then apparently some of it goes to New Netherlands. Looks like it all goes to the New Netherlands. And some of it actually went to the 13 colonies that they had occupied as well. Very funny. All right, cool. So English Columbia, how you feeling? Pay off your debt. Good boy. Not bad at all, chant. Cool. Well, I'm curious how this is going to affect our trade as well. We got an extra merchant, so let's steer from Ohio. Uh, so right now we are at 980, 997. We're going to have over a thousand. Look at this. 997. Once we start steering from Ohio, 981. 980. Very good, man. Very, very good. Years of separatism is also very strong. All right, chat. Well, how about that? Hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, please share your support, leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. Check out our VODs channel linked in the description below the video. If you also want to see what's going out on over on the discord you can check out the link in the description and if you are a true chad and you want to support us we have a uh, patreon linked in the description as well that's all i got for you for today though this is chewy shoot and i will catch you guys later hey you made it to
the end of the video. Make sure you check out a couple of those videos linked on the right. Don't forget to subscribe. And a big special thanks to the February patrons of the month. Drunk Binary, Spartan Omega, Palmer, Bloodbound92, DeVos Sander, Angelic, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, M. Dressel, Thara, Blonde Damon, Corbett, T. Jarden, Barkinglad, Natsuki, Disdain, Harry, Jay Cutshell, and Winkler, RJ Pilot, and Stolier. I appreciate your guys' support.